What's up? What's up? What's up, you guys? What's up? How you doing today? Hello, you guys. I miss you so much. Thank you so much for being here. Yes, that was extra, extra. Because I haven't made a video in about seven or eight days. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome to Guardian with Skinny Boy Randy. Where beginners and experts are always welcome. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Yes, you guys, I've been gone for a few days, but I'm back. Okay, okay. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you're new to my channel, welcome to Guardian with Skinny Boy Randy. Where beginners and experts are always welcome. I love having you here. If you're new, click that like and subscribe button down there. Uh huh. It's down there somewhere. Uh huh. And then click that thumbs up, thumbs down. Just that two middle fingers. Okay, okay. Thank you so much for being here. Also, click that bell. You get a notification every time I make a video. Y'all, it's a beautiful day out here. The sun is shining. Oh, I forgot the preliminaries. Also, check out my Facebook group, Gardening with Skinny Boy Randy, where beginners and experts are welcome. That's the name of the group over there as well on Facebook. Slide on over there. And then come on back. Okay, okay. And make sure you got your coldest water bottle because this bottle right here keeps my water nice and cold. And I can go out here and work in my garden and keep it cool at all times. That's why I got it on my shoulder, y'all. My, my coolest. Uh, y'all, that coldest water bottle, check it out. I'm going to leave a description in, down there. Uh-huh. Check it out. But, yes, you guys, go check out my Facebook group because if I can't answer a question here, they're answered over there because there's some question and answering people. Okay, okay. I love my Facebook group. Shout out to everybody in the Facebook group. Hello. Hey. To everybody that waved back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, it's bright and early. And I'm out here in the garden. Um, before it gets too hot, you guys. Don't be out there working in the garden when it's hot. Don't be out there working in the garden when it's hot. You be done fell out. And come on back. Okay. Okay. Thank y'all so much. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for being here. Today I'm going to do a quick video. Try to keep it under five minutes. Well, I ain't going to say that. Because y'all know. I ain't got the light crack. I been went all over there about 30 minutes. Thank y'all so much for being here. Yes, today we're going to talk about 10 ways to maintain your garden in this extreme heat. Okay? Today is not so extreme, but that's why I'm doing this video today. So I can show y'all because I ain't got to call 9 youtube Okay? Let's just get started. All right. Let's just start off with some squash that I picked this morning. Okay? This is just some squash that I picked this morning. Your zucchini, you want to know, I, I get a lot of questions, when do I pick my zucchini? Y'all pick it when you want it. See, I'm holding it, two hand size. The smaller to me, the better it's more, it's more sweeter and tender. Some people let them get huge. See, two different types. All right, oh, I'm sorry, y'all, I got my off right here. Yeah, 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 I got to keep the bugs off me because these mosquitoes are just disrespectful. Okay, so let's move on over. Okay, here we got some table queen squash. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm going to show you what I'm doing right now. Um, I'm going to show you everything that I got over here, where I got it from. And look, y'all. You know we had our garlic the other day. So, I picked these this morning. Some carrots. Can y'all see this? Yep. Carrots. Look at all these leaves and the carrots. Yep. And I have the carrot seeds over here to show y'all as well. Everything that we grow, we grow, we grow it from the seed, drop them in the ground. Uh, Parisian, those are the little short, fat red ones. And it's somewhere. Oh. Yeah, these little short, fat ones right here. Parisian. Up oh, Princeton. This ain't going to be no pretty video, y'all. This is a productive video. I'm going to show y'all what I do every morning, how to have a successful garden every day. But, yeah, you guys, these are my carrots. Here's my fertilizer that I made out of eggshells, banana peels, orange peels. I, 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 get back, Princeton. And uh, and let it ferment it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm going to show you everything that's going on. I'm going to show you everything today. And don't forget to get your coldest water bottle. Okay, okay. Yes, you guys. I'm going to show you everything today. Okay, over here on this table. Yeah, uh-huh. A mess. My table is a mess, y'all. I don't do pretty. I do productive. And let me show you what's on my table. I got some cutter, backyard control. That's when we cut the grass and keep the bugs down. Okay, okay. Uh-huh. I got some tool over here. Right here. Mm-hmm. When I need to cover up my plants, I got that. Uh-huh. It's right there. It's right there. Everything might not look right, but it's right. And then I got... The word, where did the DVD come from? If I get depressed, I'll watch Happy Feet. Okay, okay. 
<laughs> I love y'all. Then I got me some fish fertilizer, some 511. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then we got some uh, tearless shampoo for the dog. Uh-huh, uh-huh, for Princeton. Princeton got his stuff. Peroxide. Get spray our plants down, y'all. It's already mixed up in here with a little bit of Dawn liquid. Yes, this is what's on my table. I'm showing y'all everything today. Here's some um, things. Uh, the plants has gone, but look at that soil. Look at that soil. We're going to reuse. Y'all know we're about to reuse this and replant. We got a whole bunch of stuff coming up, y'all. There's a bug down in that water right there. That's some rainwater, and that bug is down there. I'm going to leave him alone. What's over here? Okay, grass and weed killer. Oh, yeah, we got to have some grass and weed killer. We got bone meal. We got Epsom salt. We got third side, and that's for your, your hornworms and all those um, nests that be in your trees. We got that. We got some uh, seven dust. Uh huh, y'all. I ain't never told y'all we were gonna get it. I ain't never went to organic school. I ain't never went to organic school. We got some garden lime. Uh huh, to raise the pH in your soil. We got some blood meal to give you some nitrogen. That's how I grew that good corn over there. Y'all see that corn back there? Let me see if I can get that corn in the background. That corn over there. Uh huh, we going over there in a minute. Uh huh, I'm just showing y'all everything. I'm showing y'all everything. What skinny boy Randy be doing? Uh huh. What this right here? Kills weed, grass, and algae and moss. Yep, got some of that too. We got our little Dollar Tree clamps. Well, you need to clamp things together. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. We got that too. And look, y'all, down here, I don't do pretty. See, sometimes I have my stuff on the ground, the dirt everywhere. Princeton, he loves it. He just wants to dig into everything. Princeton, you talking to the people? Hey, boy. Hey. That's Princeton, y'all. Okay, let's move on over here. We have our pepper plant over here in the container. Our strawberries still growing. Look y'all, it's just the Dollar Tree, the Dollar Tree container. And Princeton don't like when I'm on the phone or when I'm talking to the camera, y'all. I don't know why, but look, he, he is really, he is carrying on. Okay, we, we have a eggplant right here. Y'all see that? See that flower coming? The eggplant is coming. But look y'all, I want to tap this. I told y'all to tap your plants, right? Tap, tap, tap to fertilize. Tap, tap, tap. But there are spikes on the eggplant flower. I didn't know that. I hope y'all can see it. Around here, there are spikes. I went to tap, tap, tap. And I almost called 911 YouTube because I almost fell out of that thing. Prick me in my finger. Thank God I had my coldest water bottle so I could go ahead and drink me some water and get over it. But yeah, that's the eggplant in the Dollar Tree bucket. Okay, uh, some carrots. Some little short carrots. You, you guys, you don't have to plant your carrots in a, a big tall bucket if you're planting the little short fat ones. Okay, the Parisians or whatever. And a, a, and a pepper plant in there. Yep, and then over here, this is our zucchini. It's already produced two big zucchinis. I'm going to pull this old leaf off yeah you guys pull the old leaves off the bottom uh-huh pull them on off this is what i do every day this is a male flower you want to know about your zucchinis and your squash this is a male flower it's going to open up tomorrow you can tell it's going to open tomorrow because you can see the bright orange yellow whatever you want to call it about to burst open this one is like two days away from bursting open you see that two days away this is a two day, this is a one day. This is gonna open up in the morning. It looks like it might open up today. And then these down here are gonna open up later. Yes, our strawberries are still doing their thing. And I wanted to show you these peppers, okay? Don't let nobody tell you what to do in your garden. You can do what you wanna do. This is a, a bucket and I have my peppers in here. These are some habanero peppers. See them? I hope I'm capturing everything. Uh-huh, and I grow my pepper. And an okra plant. You see that okra plant? These are okras coming up. In the same bucket. And a watermelon. <laughs> yeah, I, I dropped a watermelon seed in there and it's growing. And it's also peppers over here. Look at these bell peppers. You see how many bell peppers are on here? And what I do every morning, you see these new flowers? <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Got a little raspy. But yeah, you take them, tap them, y'all. Tap your flowers. Just like that. Every morning, I come out before I go to work and I tap my flowers just like that. Get that pollen. On your pepper plants, you have the male and female together. 
And all you just need to do is tap, tap, tap. It's not like you're squashing zucchini and cucumbers where you need a male and female. But look, y'all, look how small this plant is. It's about one foot, maybe one and a half feet tall. And look at all these peppers on here. Wow. Wow. It won't that many yesterday. And they're steady coming. Look, all up here. Because I, I pollinate. I pollinate every day. I come out and I tap my flowers. And squeeze them a little bit. I tap them. I tap them and squeeze them. Tap them and squeeze them. Okay. Okay. And here's some chili peppers. You come out every day and you check your plant. See? New flowers right here. They'll be open tomorrow. You'll be able to see those tomorrow. Yeah, you guys. I know this video is probably way past five minutes. The Arbor Foundation sent me some trees to plant. Yep. And these look bare right now. But I want you to see them now. What they look like yeah just a bare stem with a root at the bottom and these are from the arbor day foundation thank you to the arbor day foundation for sending me trees for the skinny boy farm yes you guys strawberries still coming along all right let's move on over to the watermelons, something I'm very excited about. Y'all, don't forget to get your coldest water bottle. Okay, they'll give you free shipping. All you gotta do is mention the boy, Skinny Boy, and, and, and they'll give you uh, free shipping and 10% off your order. You can't beat that, y'all. Free shipping and 10% off, and this bottle is so nice and cool. Yes, I mean, it's sweet. Princeton, we ain't gonna do that, Princeton. But yes, you guys, all right, let me show you this is my plum tree. Okay. First year plum tree in a, a bucket. And then my, uh, this is another plum tree. And look what I do, y'all. I put my watermelon down in there like that. And let me show you what I got so far. Okay, you see your vines? Don't be discouraged. You got vines, you don't see anything, but you just keep looking. Look for your flowers every single day. Look over here. See, I'm I'm just seeing this one for the first time. Right here. Look, y'all. Watermelon. Right there. You see it? Sugar baby. Now what you want to do. This is the perfect time to do this. Okay, you see that sugar baby and that flower is open on that watermelon? That flower is open. And it's a watermelon right there. This is the female plant. Uh, look, there's a sugar baby already growing right here. Mm-hmm. Hope I'm getting this. But that's one already growing. But you see another one right here that's trying to grow? We had to let him know. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. What you want to do is take this male flower, which is right here. Just a flower without the watermelon on it. And then you see the watermelon flower. Let me see if I can sit this right here and get you guys in the action. Right here is, can y'all see it? Right here. Right there. That's the watermelon. And you just take the male flower and you just want to dab it. You want to get that pollen onto your sugar baby watermelon. Okay? And that's how I did this one. And she's growing. So you just want to get that pollen on there. You can actually peel the leaves back if you like. Make it easier. But sometimes you'll break that stem. And then just dab it onto the watermelon. Okay? That's how you get your watermelons, y'all. If you don't have a lot of bees floating around, that's how you do that, okay? And then eventually it'll turn into this. It's gonna turn into this. This one here. Yeah, I think we have eight over here, y'all. I think we have eight sugar baby watermelons trying to grow. Yep, look, they're just coming everywhere. All of a sudden, they're coming everywhere. I pollinated this one yesterday. But yeah, I'm not going to show you each one. But yep, eight watermelons. And look, y'all, if y'all can tell me why my um, cantaloupe 
is doing its own thing, let me know. Because I ain't seen no cantaloupe. Okay, okay. And then over here, we have the pepper plants that are just starting to bloom. You have to come out every day, you guys, and check your plants. See, this one has already been pollinated. You can see the pepper coming out. And some peppers take longer than others. So don't think, oh, my peppers are growing, but there, there's nothing on them. Oh, okay, we see some down here. And then right here, tap, tap, tap. When you see that new flower every day, you have to come out and check your plants every day, y'all. Don't assume they're going to be pollinated by the bees. Come out and check them every day. And then over here, we have some uh, Annie Green, Green Annie tomatoes uh-huh and then we got tomatoes going wow look yeah they just they just these yellow pear tomatoes are everywhere everywhere started from seed so you come out every day you guys and check your tomatoes you see the flowers just give them a little tap give them a little tap and look at the corn the corn is starting to tassel this is the male part of the corn, y'all. So let's do the corn video as well. This is the male part of the corn. This is where the pollens are going to come from eventually. And everybody's like, okay, I got tassels but no corn. It's okay. It works like that. Mother Nature does what she want to do when she want to do it. Okay, okay. So, yeah, the tassels will come. See, look look how tall my corn is. I'm so proud. I'm so proud of my corn. Look, I can stand right here. I ain't got, I ain't got the light crack. I ain't got the light crack. <laughs> yes. Stand right here with my coldest water bottle. Mm-hmm. See that? I can I can even walk through here, y'all. I can walk through here. I'm gonna get y'all in here. Hope I don't fall. But yeah, there you go. In the cornfield. See, tassels coming. You have big corn, small corn, right in front of my garage. But yeah, it's doing its thing. It's doing its thing. Look at that, y'all. So, let's move on. Over here, our peppers. I come out every day and I check. Oh, ooh, ooh, I gotta pick these, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. I gotta pick all this. I gotta pick all these. Yes. They're ready. And you see them starting to get light at the tip? You know they're ready. Uh-huh. Uh oh, we got some red beets over here growing. And look, oh wow, more peppers. Oh, look, y'all. I hope I'm getting it. More peppers. Uh huh, uh huh. And they're steady coming. Babies, when you see a flower, tap it. When you see a flower, tap it, tap it. Okay. And then uh, our lettuce that we let bolt right here. More peppers that have not even produced flowers yet. But these are chili peppers, y'all. Your chili peppers are going to take longer. The little small skinny ones. I don't know if I showed you that up there. I think I did. And then, look, I'm going to show you this eggplant. Yep, I got an eggplant planted in here, too. Look at this. And it's starting. Look at the eggplant. Can y'all see this? I hope I'm getting it. The first eggplant of the year. Right here, y'all. There it is. Yep, yep. Growing off of this little small eggplant. And then over here with our other tomatoes gone wild. I'm calling my tomatoes gone wild this year, okay? Okay! Because I let my tomatoes go wild. I just wanted to see what would happen. Look at that. Without trimming, without pruning, this is what happens when you don't trim and prune. I thank God that I treated my soil so I don't have any pests. No hornworms, y'all. This year, I don't look. Woo! Woo! As my grandma would say, woo! Look at all these tomatoes in there. And not a single disease hornworm. Woo! Look at these. Look at these. Look at these, y'all. Just letting them grow. Oh, wow. I hope y'all, I'm getting this. I hope I'm getting this. There it is. Look. And these are just growing wild. You know? And I don't want to disturb their growth. 
because other animals might get them. Look, and they're just coming out of the raised bed. Little short raised bed. Don't let nobody tell you you have to have a tall raised bed. This is a short raised bed. Okay, okay. Now, we have some squash over here that we grew from seed as well. Now, people have a lot of questions about their squash plants. Let me show you. Okay. This is a female plant. Right here. Because you can see the squash is actually on it. I know I've done this video before, but sometimes it bears repeating. You see the squash? You see the squash? That's your female. Those are female plants. I know a lot of people are confused and like, what's going on? My leaves will come and die off. That's what they're supposed to do. This is a male flower. He'll sprout up and drop off. And some women probably be like this. I know what you mean, Randy. But we're not talking about that. Okay, okay. Yes, you guys, this is a male plant. See? It's just a male stem. I can pull this one off and a flower. That's all. That's the male plant. This opens up in the morning and closes at night. Yeah, it does that every day. Every day. I come out here every day and I look at my seat, my male flowers. They're open in the morning. I'm doing this video bright and early, you guys, before it gets super hot out here. But yeah, you see down in there? That's your male plant. It's just a big male flower. Just like that. And you can actually eat the leaves. You can stuff these with sour cream and chives. Whatever you want to stuff it with. Um, you can fry them. Yep. You can eat every part of the squash plant. And look at all that pollen in there. I'm just going to use this for an example. Because we don't have anything to pollinate to eat. Because our females have not opened yet on some of the plants. But this is the male plant. This is what it looks like inside. And it has all the pollen on it. It has plenty of pollen. I hope, can I, can y'all see this? It has pollen on it that you need for your female plant. So let's just move on. We have more corn over here. Always succession plant, you guys. Succession plant. Succession. Now, tomatoes gone wild. Over here. Look. look. Oh my goodness. They were stalked up, but they decided to do their own thing. Tomatoes gone wild. This is that area. Tomatoes gone wild. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And then we have a sunflower about to do its thing. And then come over here to the squash bed. A lot of people are like, why are my male flowers falling off? They just come up and they fall off, y'all. That's what they do. That's what they do. You're going to have some of your squash that look like this. Not going to make it. You know, it didn't get pollinated. Not going to make it. And then you see your male flowers. Your male flowers will bloom all the time. See? You always got some male flowers. But then when you get your female flowers, that makes your squash and stuff like that. See? That makes your squash. Your cucumber. I don't want to hit this button, y'all, because I'll cut the video off back to this. And then, come over here. Check your flowers every single day. Oh, look. Cucumber. Cucumber growing there. And you check your plant every day. See? Little small cucumber here. I was trying to find one that had the actual cucumber with the flower on it just opening up. See, these have already opened up and they'll be pollen, or they're probably pollinated and they're gonna turn into a big cucumbers. But yep, you guys, everything is going off the trellis. If you wanna know about trellis growing, you have to train your plant up the trellis, see? We got squash, all different type of things growing up in here. Let me get you on this side. See that? Mm -hmm. See? That one's pollinated. See, this female just got pollinated yesterday. Right here. And then you can look in there. You'll see squash growing. Everything's growing up the trellis. Nicely. This is a bed that we're going to clean out. See? more. But look at that bee in there. Oh my God, we're catching pollination. Well, he just ran out, but yeah, the bee was in there. 
he's still here. Hopefully he don't buy that. Cause we ain't got no money to be going to the hospital. We ain't got no money. Okay, here's a um a female uh, zucchini. See, you can tell when your female come in, it it'll look like a zucchini and a flower. Yes, you guys. This video is probably about three hours long. And then you come over here. Tomatoes gone wild. Look at that. Look at this. That's how they do, y'all. That's how they grow. Yep, 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 yep. I collect my rainwater. Uh-huh. And then over here we have salad. This is Ronald's garden. Ronald's growing his own garden, y'all. This is all his stuff right here. His watermelons. They're doing great. And then back over here. Look at the bee in there. The bee is in there just getting all that pollen on him. I hope I'm getting there. That bee is in there getting all that pollen, y'all. And he'll transfer it to another plant. I'm trying to move it without disturbing him. Can you see it all over his body? He's just picking up pollen. He's eating and picking up pollen at the same time. So we're going to leave him alone. And look at our cucumbers growing on the trellis. Mm -hmm. Every day, this is what I do. Before I go to work, I come out and check. Pollinate anything that needs to be pollinated. I'm not going to do all the hand. Oh, look, ooh, wow. Look at this. Look at that. Another cucumber hanging. Yep. They're doing their thing, y'all. More squash coming. So, yeah. You just want to maintain your garden, you guys. Every single day. Every single morning. Come out. Get your garden together. Get you a coldest water bottle. So, if you get thirsty, you have some cold water to drink. It doesn't have to be ice cold. You can put ice in it if you like. Or you don't have to. You can do it with or with ice, without ice. Y'all, look at this corn. This corn is humongous. Look. Yeah, when I see tassels, I know corn is coming. And we're going to have enough corn to share with everyone. I just gave some vegetables away today. Oh, and see over here? All these big male flowers. So don't be discouraged. If your plant looks like this, you don't have any female flowers. Well, there is one there that's coming in but if you don't have female flowers it's okay they'll come they'll come eventually see you get a lot of male flowers see these look how big these are you can pull them up because they're gonna die by this evening anyway so you can pull them up and like these people will take these as a delicatessen they say they're very expensive in the store to buy them so you guys we have food that is a delicatessen. I can't even spell delicatessen. I ain't went to delicatessen school. I can't spell that. But yes, you guys, these are edible. And these are beautiful. And you can eat these. You can stuff them with different things. You know, you go and clean them out and be very gentle with them. But these are expensive. Pull it up and look at it. Okay, you guys, I just wanted to give you a quick garden tour. Oh, here's some of my uh, table queen. Table queen squash. Yep, 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 yep. And you saw my carrots, y'all. That's how we do. I just wanted to give you a quick tour of the Skinny Bar Farms. Let you know what's going on. Ten things that you can do in the morning when you're going to check on your garden. Don't forget to check out the coldest water bottle, you guys. This is the coldest water bottle. You go on over there to the coldest water bottle. Type in Skinny Boy. And you will get 10% off your order. Free shipping and all that. Okay, okay. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Remember, if nobody told you they love you today, I do. Skinny Boy Randy loves you. Live, love, laugh, you guys. Grow stuff and eat it. You're the best.